and welcome back the serial is here and this is let's play parasite eve 2 we've encountered the locked door with the card reader and no card not to mention some dark skinny figure just dropped from the ceiling and sort of suckered punch aya well there's nothing much we can do about the door so we're gonna head back to see if we could find another way around it and for some strange reason the rest of the shelter is once again teeming with enemies So yeah, we're gonna go back and take them out and see if we could find another way around that door. I really love what they did to this game as compared to the first Parasite Eve where I just fix things up. There's a lot of interaction. Ah! Well, at least we managed to take out both of them with one shot of the grenade launcher. And we just wasted the grenade launcher on that one. So, Parasite Eve 2 plays a lot more like an RPG with lots of text and a lot of searching around for clues. Something that was quite lacking in the first Parasite Eve game. And since we're a little bit short on time, I'm gonna skip all those reading stuff and just go straight ahead on what we actually really need to continue this game but if you really want to get into the feel of the game in the storyline i suggest analyzing everything For example, back at Miss Headquarters, there's a wall there with pictures and by analyzing that, you would find out what Mist is all about and you would find out that Ayabria is second only to Rupert when it comes to shooting. And that Ayabraya often works alone because she knows that her other teammates fear her because she has this parasite ability. And we got another place that we cannot go through let's go back up and 
and that door is still locked. We're gonna go to that part later on in the game. It's interesting how they actually put water on both sides of this walkway and just filled it with monsters such as this. What were they thinking? Anyway, these water dinosaur looking creatures are back again and it's up to Aya to take them out. Not that I'd mind taking them out. Because the more enemies we kill, the more bounties we collect, and thus, the better weapons and armor we could buy. I'm saving up the belt pouches for a certain armor that we're gonna get later on for free. So yeah. And that big door is also locked. There's nothing left to do but go back up. That's not a dream, Aya. It's more like a vision. I'm gonna arrange Aya Brea's inventory and drop some things that we don't need in this item box before we continue on. Let's go save again. Because in this game, it's always good to save. And it would appear that we don't have backup. Yeah, very typical. Leave saving the world to some cute girl with a gun. Then you could actually call in an army of soldiers to actually take them out. Uh oh. Now this wasn't supposed to happen. Let's find a way out of this. Because if we don't, I just gonna suffocate and die. Ah, screw it. Let's go down. And I just went down the garbage chute. In a rather ungraceful manner. Yeah, I bet that hurt. And there's an ammunition crate with the Hydra down there. Whoever thought of 
living ammunition cases in a junk pile. Well, in any case, I think this is just about enough time we have for this video. So we're gonna save it here. In the next bit, we'll go exploring this area and see if we could find a way out. This is Sir Liz, signing up.